All right. So, understand, displacement and distance are completely different. Okay? Distance is the entirety of your trip to wherever you're going. Yesterday or Wednesday, you guys did the Bruin Tracker activity. In that Bruin Tracker activity, you created a series of vectors to get to a very specific location on your paper. And you were asked to read those directions to your partner and see if they could draw that exact same map just with your given direction. On that paper, it asked you two really quick and easy questions. It asked you, how many squares did you travel over to get to where you ended up? And the, uh, the majority of you went through like 30 or 40 or 50. Okay? The very next question was, draw a line from your starting point to your ending point, and now count how many squares you went over. Was that number higher? or lower than the first number you got? Lower. Because that second question was asking you about displacement. Displacement is a shortcut from where you started to where you're going. Okay? Displacement is also known as a vector because it's one line, one arrow, one distance. Okay? So displacement can be talked, talked about with a direction, and here it says size, okay, but in reality, we don't like using the word size. What word do we like using instead of size? Magnitude. magnitude. So on your paper, I would rather you put down magnitude. And in the case of displacement, because it is a position vector, you want to know that magnitude is a distance. Okay, for this position vector, magnitude is a distance. But this is all well and good when I'm talking about when I'm talking about you know distance and displacement. You're like, yeah, 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 we get it. Okay, but it's much easier to understand when I explain a certain situation to you. And the best way to explain this situation is by telling you about a scene from one of my favorite movies of all time. Now, I'm not going to tell you the name of the movie yet. And if you know the movie by the description I'm going to give you, keep it quiet. I want to see if anybody gets it. Okay, but let me tell you, I'm going to set up the scene for you. It's one of the best movies of all time because it's a high school movie. Okay, and this, in this high school movie, you have this one kid who always skips school and gets away with it. All the time he gets away with it. And his sister hates him for it. He has a younger sister, about one year younger. She's very, you know, smart, and she does the right thing all the time. And so she hates her brother because he always takes the, the, the shortcut, but he always gets away with it. And she's like, I hate him. And in reality, she doesn't like him because she wishes she could be like him. But she never gets away with it. So this one day, he pretends to be sick. The parents come in, like, oh, oh, he's our baby's sick. Oh, we're going to go to work. You stay home. You get better. We're going to go to school, right? And the sister's standing in the hallway going, man, what a liar. What a faker. So everybody leaves. She goes to school. Parents go to work. And he gets up and goes, all right, I'm good. I'm going to call my friends. We're going to have a good day. And so he calls his friends. They steal his friend's dad's car. They go to the city. They have a great day. They end up in a parade. They go to a baseball game. They sneak into a restaurant. They, get, they eat food off somebody else's bill. They're having a great day. They're having such a good day that they forget what time it is, and it's 4.30, and they go, oh, no. Parents are going to be home at 5. We've got to get going. They return the car. They get going. And then this guy is standing at the side of the street. He goes, oh, I'm going to be home. I'm going to be home no problem. I should make it. I have 15 minutes before my parents come home. He looks to his left, and guess who he sees? His dad is going home early to check on his son to make sure he's still okay. He's like, uh-oh. I better run. He knows his dad has to take the long way around. 
He knows his dad has to go all the way up through the streets in order to get to his house. So the character of this movie decides, hey, the best thing for me to do is to jump through everybody's backyard in a straight line to my house. Along the way, he passes the street and he almost gets hit by a car. And he stops and he stops on the hood of the car and he looks at the driver and guess who it is? His sister. And in the seat next to his sister, guess who it is? His mom. But she's not paying attention because she's looking in her purse. The sister looks at him and smiles. She goes, I'm going to get you. And he's like, no, you're not. And he bolts. And the sister, guess what she does? Peel out. She's going to make it home before him. The mom's going crazy. What are you doing? She goes, I'm trying to get home. She's like, what? Slow down. No, no, yes, no, go, oh. So he's running, and he's running through the streets. He's running through people's backyards. He's running through people's houses. Finally, he sees the trampoline. He jumps on the trampoline and slow-mo motion. He's like, yeah, I'm going to make it. And then he gets to his house. His dad pulls up. His sister's car is already there. Uh-oh. He, so he goes, I'm going to run to the back door. He goes to the back door, reaches for the spare key. It's gone. And he looks up. Guess who's there holding the key? His sister. Shh, it's better when I say it this way. Yes, I know. And I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story, but he pretty much beat everybody to his house because he used displacement while everybody else was using total distance. Because displacement is the shortcut. Displacement is the shortest distance from your starting point to your ending point. It's always going to be smaller than your distance. And I just so happen to have that clip for you to watch. And side by side with this clip is a parody, meaning a, a, a goof, a joke of this scene from one of your favorite cartoons. No, it's both of them on, in, in this, and side by side. There's his dad. There's his sister's car pulling up. She's running. There's dad. Okay, and the moral of that story is displacement will always get you there quicker than traveling that total distance. Okay, and that's a great scene to show that with because I like that movie. Okay, all right. Now the final. Yes. Oh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is the name of that movie. Okay, because it's Ferris Bueller and he took a day off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, and the funny part is the, 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 you, you get to see how the rumor mill at the school works because it goes from... Ferris is sick, to Ferris is dying, to Ferris is almost on his deathbed, to Ferris has cancer and he's not going to make it. You know, so the whole school you see is like, oh, they even paint the water tower of the town. It says, save Ferris. It's just pretty funny. But anyways, I want to show you how it changes based upon motion. Okay, because today's lab, you are going to be doing walks just like this. You're not going to have a fountain to walk through, sadly. But you're going to be doing walks outside, and you're going to be seeing how you change direction with your distance will affect both the total distance and the displacement. For example, 
if you're walking in just a straight line, just a straight line, your distance and displacement are going to be the same because you haven't turned yet. The moment you turn, your distance still increases. Your displacement increases, but it's still lower than your total distance. And then look, now we're returning back to our original point. The moment you start returning back to your starting point, your displacement gets smaller and smaller and eventually becomes zero if you return back to your original spot. Okay, understand that with your lab today. When you come closer to your original reference point, your displacement will also go closer to zero. Okay? Because those are some questions on the on the on the thing. So I'm going to hand out your labs. I'm going to do a quick review, uh, a quick overview of what to do during the lab, and we're going to get outside. <laughs>